Well, hopefully I'm still broadcasting. Let me see if I can do a... Oh, what is causing that white glow? Am I shining off the dome or something? Turn the dome. <laughs> There's still some puffy clouds drifting around. Let me see if I can do a region of interest and zoom in. Well, I've got a cloud and a bigger cloud. Hi, Simon. It would figure it was perfectly clear and it was supposed to be perfectly clear all day and when so anything astronomical happens <laughs> go figure I mean they're moving from the northwest fairly fast but there's a bunch of them that's the problem uh, let me see where the uh, the end of this cloud is. At least this morning I was able to get Comet Catalina with a uh, interacting galaxy pair in the tail of the comet. It was pretty pretty neat. I posted a picture to the uh, to the Yahoo group. It was NGC 5534. It was an inter interacting galaxy pair uh, that just happened to be in line with the tail. Come on, we got like five minutes until it. I think it gets occulted. Where's that cloud? That figures. I'm raising the telescope here higher. The issue I have this time of the year is because of the uh, tree line to the south. Well, that cloud is just hanging right in front of the moon. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They were moving fairly quick until this cloud showed up and then it just decided to park. Well, Michael, if your kids are watching this, they're, <laughs> they're not seeing a whole lot right now. Looks like the clouds are trying to thin. Okay, thinning. Okay, trying to get there. I'm gonna un unfreeze it. Go back to full size. I'll go back, I'll crop it again. Okay, there we are. Oh, and here comes the cloud again. <sighs> Is it a thin one? Nope, not so thin.
It was looking good for a second there. That's just about the only cloud in the sky. Hi, Ian. <laughs> Coming to watch the cloud show, huh? According to Sky Safari, it's supposed to be occulted around 1123, 1124. Uh, if this cloud doesn't get moving pretty fast, we're going to miss it. Venus. Moon and Venus. It reappears a, a little bit after 1 p.m. Central Time. The problem is I have a doctor's appointment with my wife's orthopedist for 1 o'clock, so uh, I'll be gone. You can see Venus pop out for a second. It's getting close to the limb. Like I said, we got about another minute. <laughs> and the clouds going to... Oh, man, that's not going to be good. Clouds are merging right over the moon. That figures. Yeah, it should be visible just about anywhere. The moon's going to be a little bit lower where you are out in Maryland. But I have a feeling the next view will be of the moon with no Venus in the field. Not really. It's, uh, the moon is to the southeast and, I mean, uh, the sun is to the southeast and the moon is, uh, the southwest. It's not raining in New Orleans or Louisiana for anything astronomical. It's cloudy. This is just very frustrating. I know it's going to happen. The moon's going to pop out and Venus will be gone. Yeah, restored to full view, and it, there's just solid clouds for the whole field of view of the, the camera. Ah, oh, boy. Well, hopefully somebody else has a clear spot. As slow as that cloud is moving, by the time it clears the moon, uh, the moon's Venus is going to be gone for sure. Clouds are basically just sitting there. That shows you how good they can predict the weather. That was going to be perfectly clear today. Let's see if Venus happens to be there. Oh, it's getting close. Zoom in. All right, getting close. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see how long this cloud stays away, because <laughs> it's really getting close now. <laughs> it's starting to nibble away at Venus right now. And just give it another minute or so, and we'll we'll say well, at least we had some success. It's about halfway covered. It's slowly going away. Last little bit gone. 
So it ended at 11.26.09. <laughs> so if you're about an hour and a half from now, the moon, uh, Venus is going to emerge on the uh, dark side of the moon from the dark limb. Uh, it'll be too low to see from here if I was going to be home, but uh, people in the West Coast should be able to see the re reappearance of Venus. But I'll, I'll try to post this little short video to uh, YouTube shortly. I'm glad you could all stop by and see it. I'm glad the clouds cooperated, and I'll talk to you all later.